let uh, me bring in uh, this time my colleague Samuel Mbura who's been uh, with the uh, a Greek minister throughout the day uh, today as the ministry is now embarking on an exercise uh, aimed at ensuring food security. Uh, some items on display there, but exactly what has the minister said about this exercise? So, uh, Blizzard, with the food variety that we had uh, on display at the uh, Greek ministry and the entire for, um, forefront or forecourt of the the ministries mm. uh, were varieties of food from um, legumes, tubers, uh, fruits from different parts of the country. So it is a platform that has been given to the uh, farmers to market their produce from different parts of the country. So we have the agro extension officers um, displaying them with the names and everything that matters. So the main aim is just to create that platform for potential investors to come and then take up these produce and then see how they can help them in packaging and also uh, finding marketing uh, platforms for them to market their produce. We know very well that the challenge in the country has to do with the fact that we incur more, more of um, uh, post-harvest losses. So uh, what can we do to ensure that some of these things are reduced? The farmer meets um, his or her, uh, I mean, cost, the capital that they are using, and right. also breaking even or making some profit. So. Uh, this is actually a, a novelty. They've uh, christianed it the AgriFest. You know very well that uh, building up to the um, Farmers' Day in December, this is actually the first time that they have to organize an exhibition in one region and the main event in another region. So uh, after this is actually a week-long exercise uh, building up to the, the main day, which is the uh, Farmers' uh, Day. So uh, this is all happening in our So what are we seeing yeah. on the screens right now? So we have different types of uh, oil. You can see coconut oil, you can see some uh, legumes, you can see some cereals, you can see some, some of the tubers and everything that you need. Everything Ghanaian. Is that coconut oil too? Uh, I think they've just panned through, through that. Um, yeah, and then some of the vegetable oils uh, too is also on display for you. You go there, you get so many stuff. I can't, I can't list them actually, they, they, are, they are many. Yes, indeed. And, and we can see from the shots that we have on the screens now. But let's talk about what the uh, Greek minister has been saying about this and what this is targeted at uh, ensuring. Well, we know very well the challenge as a country has to mm -hmm. do with food security. And what the minister says is that, you know, we import more of the grains and cereals, rice. You look at the importation of rice, the amount that we pump in to um, import rice. We know yeah. very well there's currently an ally before parliament to regulate the importation of some of these products. So he is talking about the fact that Ghana, um, through the Ghana government, through his ministry, wants to achieve as full sufficiency by 2028. That's three years time. So they've already started touting their achievements uh, from the last three months till now. He has indicated that they have been able to beat the food inflation by 10%. And then they are optimistic of um, achieving this particular goal. We can listen to him when he spoke to us after his tour of the exhibition. And we invite everybody to attend the exhibition, follow the food plan that we have designed, follow the food security plan that we have designed, and you will see that every year, I think that we started in September, we have some milestones in December, we invite the country to come and see what we're able to achieve in December, and then follow the milestones that will lead us into our food security in 2028. And we believe that when we have done so, unemployment, because we're going to use youth to, uh, to, to do the cropping, and that in itself is supposed to bring the unemployment situation down, and then um, um, assure us of our food security. If you, if you see what we did in the, the small trial that we did in the upper regions, this... Um, their planting uh, season. You realize that we have been able to bring the price of maize by 50%. And it's not just the maize, a lot of the cereals, the prices are dropping. Maize that used to sell at the same time last year for 300 CDs for 50, bag, 50 kg bag. Now it's 148 Ghana CDs. The maximum that you get is 150 CDs, which means that there's a 50% drop in the price of maize. And, you know, nobody is talking about it because you don't see it translate into the ball, the price of the ball of thinking. It means that there's somebody in the middle who is pocketing the profit. But we are going, we have, uh, we are going to put things in place to ensure that the price reductions that we are experiencing at the farm gate is translated um, to the table. 
you also see that with the little efforts that we did to catalyze production up north, food inflation from July, well, about 55%, has now dropped to about 44%. Okay, so we have dropped about 10 percentage points in the last three months, which is August, September, October. Okay, food inflation is now 44%. So if we are in every three months, we're able to drop the food inflation by 10 percentage points that we have done. It means that in the next 12 months, food inflation will be in the, in the lower teens. So our food security and our food resilience and we are demonstrating it through this exhibition that what we are talking about that we intend to produce we we are already producing and that is what is being exhibited Well, so it's clear now that that's the agenda of the uh, ministry, uh, but this is also leading uh, into, you know, the, the mega uh, celebration, uh, the uh, Farmer's Day celebration, which of course will present the opportunity to also celebrate our farmers and what they've been contributing to national development. Any, any comment from the minister on ensuring the farmer welfare, because these are the people uh, supplying and feeding the nation? Well, the minister is of the view that that's, that has already been done. A reason uh, the Akufado government has been able to put out some, some of their strategies, mentioning the planting for food and jobs, uh, getting them subsidized fertilizer, and then all that matters, giving them agri extension um, support and all that. So um, he is of the view that they can continuously improve upon it, but um, the farmers are already having some relief from this government, a reason they are getting the significant improvements in the food production, a reason he also cited that within the last three months, they've been able to beat down food inflation by 10%. It is because they have put in place measures that are geared towards the welfare of the Ghanaian farmer, a reason they are able to um, hit this particular target. So they'll continuously put in more measures to assuage any challenge, whether it has to do with road infrastructure, it has to do with storage, whether it has to do with a market and all that. So all that is it's in place according to the ministry to ensure that the farmer out there uh, is catered for. Okay, so what we're seeing now, if someone walks to the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, they, they'll be able to get some produce? So um, it isn't the case that it has been turned into a market per se, but you get the different varieties of food and get to know where they are coming from and then get the right people to contact to get the food in larger quantities. So it is not like a market that you go and say, I'm going to buy food, maybe tubers of yam and all that. These are just stands of, um, that's the exhibitors, uh, exhibitors have uh, put there, uh, displaying their, their food and where you can get them to buy in larger quantities. So it is not a traditional market that they have created at the Agri Ministry, but an exhibition center for you to go and see, know where to buy what and when to get it to buy. Um, now the planting for food and jobs campaign itself and phase two of it as we're you know, uh, implementing. Any comment on the progress made so far? Well, that, that the comment has no, there's no any direct comment in that regard, but like I indicated earlier, has to do with the fact that they, they have been able to achieve some 10% reduction in food inflation. You know, over the time, we have been uh, seeing that the food inflation goes higher. Uh, that's why Brian Achampo was of the view that we're complaining that the size of the kinky that we eat has been affected because of the food inflation, but because they've been able to drop it down, um, there's no impact on it. The reason we are seeing stabilized uh, food prices in the market, and also they think that now that they have done something to at least reduce the pressure on the farmers and also food from the farm gates, at least those who are also at the end of it should also reduce the, the prices. So the, all these achievements are I mean, attributed to the planting for food and jobs uh, policy. We know that this phase two of it was launched about a, a month or so ago at the mm. University of Ghana and the target is the youth. They want to use the youth more to go into this phase two of the planting for food and jobs. The main reason is to, if not entirely kick out um, unemployment, okay. reduce it drastically. Samuel Mbura, my colleague, uh, joining us with the latest uh, from the Ministry of Food uh, and Agriculture. Uh, any you know, announcement on the kind of uh, reward the best firm will be getting this year? Uh, not yet. They are still working that out and maybe we'll definitely get days to come. <laughs> because we know this exhibition is like a week long thing. So maybe in the course of it, 
we may get to know the prices that are in stock for anyone who emerges uh, the winner for this year. I mean, thank you.